In the annals of history, certain moments stand as monumental forks in the road, leading us down paths to our present. But what if one of those paths diverged in an unexpected direction? Today, we invite you on a captivating exploration. What if the Confederacy won the American Civil War? Join us as we unravel a narrative not of what happened, but of what could have been, painting a picture of a world both strange and eerily familiar. As we embark on this journey through a different past, please remember to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking explorations. Your comments and insights are always welcome. Now let us step into a world that never was. To fully comprehend the gravity of our question, we must delve into the monumental impact of the Civil War. It was a conflict that shook the nation to its core, spanning from 1861 to 1865. Beyond a territorial dispute, the Civil War was a profound clash of ideologies centered around the polarizing issues of slavery and states' rights. The Union's hard-fought triumph marked a seismic shift in American history. It abolished the abhorrent institution of slavery, a move that forever transformed the social fabric of the nation. The victory also reshaped federal authority, strengthening the central government and laying the groundwork for the United States to emerge as a global power. The ramifications of the Union's victory reverberated through every facet of American life. In the aftermath of the war, the United States grappled with the daunting task of reconstructing a shattered nation and integrating millions of freed people into society. Social structures underwent significant transformations as the end of slavery paved the way for new opportunities and challenges for African Americans. Moreover, the Civil War had a profound impact on economic policies. The war effort necessitated the mobilization of vast resources and the creation of a wartime economy. This led to significant changes in the nation's financial system and the rise of industrial capitalism. The legacy of the Civil War also shaped the nation's identity. The conflict forced Americans to confront the deep divisions that had long plagued the country. It sparked a national dialogue about the meaning of freedom, equality, and the role of government. The outcome of the war ushered in a new era of civil rights activism and laid the foundation for the pursuit of a more just and equitable society. Now let's dive into some fascinating historical facts. Did you know that the American Civil War saw the first widespread use of photography as a tool for documentation? Photographers like Matthew Brady captured poignant and gruesome images, immortalizing the horrors of war and preserving a visual record for future generations. Another captivating aspect of the Civil War was the role of women. Despite societal constraints, women on both sides made significant contributions. They served as nurses, spies, and even soldiers disguised as men. Sarah Emma Edmonds, for example, served in the 2nd Michigan Infantry Regiment as a Union spy, disguised as a man. Loretta Velasquez collected information about Union troop movements as a Confederate spy, and many others. Their bravery and resilience shattered gender stereotypes and left an enduring legacy. As we explore this pivotal moment in American history, we're transported to battlefields where valor and sacrifice unfolded. From Gettysburg to Antietam, we witness soldiers' unwavering determination, their courage fueled by a profound belief in their cause. These battlefields have become hallowed ground, where the echoes of history still linger. In essence, the Civil War stands as a pivotal moment in American history, leaving an indelible imprint on the nation's social, political, and economic landscape. Its legacy continues to shape the United States to this day, reminding us of the enduring struggle for freedom and equality. But what if history had taken a different course? What if the Confederate States had triumphed in their quest for independence? Imagine an alternate reality where a divided nation stands on the world stage. The Confederate States of America, a bastion of states' rights and an agrarian economy, would have charted a distinct path. Before we dive further into this alternate timeline, it's important to acknowledge that this is a sensitive exploration. This is not meant to glorify the Confederacy or downplay the brutality of slavery, which was the cornerstone of their society. The effects of that terrible institution would ripple across generations, even in this fictional world. Our purpose here is to examine how history shapes the present and explore how seemingly small changes can have vast consequences. Now let's change the narrative. Imagine Lee's strategy outsmarting the Union generals. 
Perhaps a daring cavalry charge disrupts Union communications or a previously overlooked terrain feature lets the Confederates gain a crucial high ground advantage. The Union Army of the Potomac crumbles. The battle that lasted three days ends in a shocking Confederate triumph. This victory wouldn't just be a news headline, it would be an earthquake. Northern morale would plummet. Anti-war factions could surge, leading to calls for a negotiated peace, something President Lincoln had strenuously resisted. Meanwhile, the Confederacy rejoices, seeing their victory as a divine sign of their cause's righteousness. Here's where things get really interesting. Before Gettysburg, Britain and France were wary of openly backing the slave-holding Confederacy. But a major military win? That alters the equation. Economic ties to southern cotton and the potential to break the growing power of the United States become too tempting. Diplomatic recognition and perhaps even material aid could flow to the Confederacy. With bolstered morale and potential foreign support, the Confederacy might just force the Union to the negotiating table. History diverges, a bitter peace treaty is signed. The United States is now two nations. The wounds of the war still roar. The North, still industrializing, becomes more economically introverted. The sting of defeat pushes them to further innovation, cementing their position as a power driven by manufacturing and technology. The Confederacy, however, clings to its peculiar institution, slavery. Their agricultural economy, boosted by European trade, stagnates. The South becomes a strange hybrid, clinging to the past while desperately trying to compete with a modernizing North. The consequences ripple outward. Could the Union, still licking its wounds, have mustered the will to expand westward? Might the Confederacy, hungry for land, have sparked a conflict with Mexico? Imagine the tensions as runaway slaves flee north, creating a constant thorn in the side of USCSA relations. Would European alliances have further entangled North America in global conflicts like World War I? The mind boggles at the possibilities. This is not a tale of good guys and bad guys. It's about the messy complexities of history. A Confederate victory at Gettysburg changes everything and nothing. The struggles over race, states' rights, and the very soul of America would likely continue in different, perhaps even more dangerous forms. So I ask you, how would this divided America look today? What social, political, and technological forces would be unleashed? Share your thoughts in the comments. History is written by the victors, but what ifs belong to all of us. The year is 2024. Billboards across the Union blast messages celebrating rapid transport systems and the latest breakthroughs in renewable energy. North of the border, in the Confederate States, news networks buzz with the hotly contested Heritage Preservation Act, meant to protect Confederate monuments and restrict certain teachings of Civil War history. These are two Americas divided more by mindset than geography. The Union, spurred by the sting of Confederate separation, is a relentless innovator. Silicon Valley sprawls across vast swaths of the Old West, where self-driving cars and hyper-fast magnetic railways whisk citizens around. Meanwhile, the Confederacy struggles to compete. Foreign investment and brain drain favor the North. Some Southern states have embraced limited modernization drawn by lucrative union contracts. Others cling fiercely to their agricultural legacy, attracting tourists with romanticized plantation heritage experiences. Imagine a G20 summit in this world. The Union delegate speaks of climate solutions and strategic AI development. The CSA representative counters with concerns about trade imbalances and fears of Northern cultural imperialism. Still, they must work together on issues like cybercrime and piracy, threats that don't care about borders. Old enmities simmer beneath a veneer of cooperation. A family vacation becomes politically charged do you head north to see the wonders of Union engineering, or do you opt for a living history tour of a grand CSA plantation? Pop culture is starkly divided. Union movies glorify technological heroism, while CSA dramas often paint their past in a softer, nostalgic light. Cross-border romances are fraught with tension, the stuff of best-selling novels and scandalous talk shows. The legacy of slavery remains a central, unresolved question. The Union grapples with its own complex racial past, reparations movements gaining ground. The Confederacy is a patchwork. Some states have begrudgingly reformed, others are hotbeds of white supremacist movements that the CSA government finds difficult to control completely. 
The border flashes with news of attempted escapes and brutal crackdowns. This world is a powder keg of possibility. Could a water crisis force North and South into uneasy cooperation? Might a charismatic CSA leader rekindle expansionist dreams, setting the stage for a new, even more terrifying conflict? Or perhaps, through cultural exchange and economic necessity, the two Americas gradually find firmer ground for coexistence. This is a world ripe for storytelling. What's daily life like for a CSA tech worker enticed to the North? How does a Union CSA mixed marriage survive? Let's dive deeper. Imagine a devastating drought striking both countries, forcing them to put aside centuries of animosity to manage shared water resources. Can they overcome old hatreds to save their people? As climate change worsens elsewhere, refugees flock to North America. Does the Union's high-tech border control clash with the CSA's more porous one? Is there a surge of anti-immigrant sentiment in both nations? How do their differing views on assistance shape their international standing? In a chilling echo of the past, might a network emerge to help those still trapped in the Confederacy's harshest states, mirroring the roots of escaped slaves? This adds a dangerous moral complexity to the narrative. Could this disunited landscape leave North America vulnerable to a rising China or an increasingly assertive European bloc? Do the Union and CSA find themselves forced into a temporary alliance against a common external threat? It's your story too. This alternate history isn't just about grand events. It's about the people struggling or thriving within it. It's ripe for stories of resilience, resistance, and the enduring battle for human dignity. Is love possible across this new Mason-Dixon line? How would artists, musicians, and everyday citizens influence this fractured society? Exploring these concepts allows us to consider our own world anew and appreciate the complex forces that shape our present. This glimpse into an alternate America raises unsettling questions about our own choices and the fragility of history. Would our world be better or worse if the Battle of Gettysburg had gone differently? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoy exploring the what ifs of history, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. You won't want to miss our next dive into the twists and turns of time.